Hey guys, what's up? So this is a very difficult video for me to make. I have the RG35XX from Ambernic in my left hand and in my right hand I have the Miu Mini Plus uh, both in the transparent colorways. Uh, this one is transparent black and this one is transparent clear. So it's a very difficult video for me to make I think this one because I like aspects of both of these consoles very much. Uh, they're aiming at kind of the same price point and same power point as well. So we have underneath the PS1 area of emulation uh, and then the price point is about $60, I think, $60 to $70, uh, depending on where you get them from. And also they both come with 64 gigabyte SD cards, which is uh, most of the library which we want to be playing on these consoles. For me, the TLDR is buy the RG35XX, mainly because of the hardware. Uh, the software was fixed when it first came out. The software was shit, um, but they have fixed a lot of these things. Uh, well, nice developers have fixed a lot of these things. And um, for me, this is the best experience you can get for under $50 or $50, $60, including shipping. The Miu Mini Plus, I think, will get better with time. But there are some hardware things which I really don't like about this uh, this console, which we'll get on in uh, the meat of this video. But if you want the TLDR, for me, buy the RG35XX. Right, let's get into it then. So things I like about the RG35XX a lot are the... It really fits my hand well. It 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 gets down into my palm here. It's, it's um, the right length. It's small enough. The buttons are good, the D-pad is great, the buttons are fantastic, and Benic, uh really know what they're doing in terms of uh, controls. Screen is good, it gets bright, uh, let's just turn it on, let's maybe put Tekken 3 on or something, yep. Uh, so I just have the stock firmware on here in this card, but um, everything works right out the box, uh, the screen is good, no issues, sound is good. Uh, just got the sound turned down now. Uh, but everything about this console, in terms of the hardware, I really like. Uh, one major difference between the other ones is that it has HDMI out and it doesn't have Wi-Fi. So that's the big issues on the hardware side. But I can live in with this kind of uh, this kind of console, you know, this kind of price point. I can live with not having Wi-Fi to be honest, because for the things that Wi-Fi uh, you're going to use Wi-Fi for, it's not super essential for, for me anyway. I mean, everybody likes uh, things like retro achievements or being able to download the uh, covers and box art quickly um, just from your console. Fair enough. I mean, but that's uh, I think that's more of a premium feature, more of a nice to have feature. And, um, you know, I'm OK with not having that on the uh, on a on a on a budget handheld. Uh, as you can see, the screen is great. Uh, no, no problems at all. H another hardware thing which I don't like is the battery is a little bit small. So I think they've upgraded that recently. Uh, newer models of the Anbenic RG35XX do have a bigger battery, slightly bigger, maybe like 10, 20% bigger. Um, but they've they've kept it in the same physical size. So it's, it's, it's just bigger here. Uh, I'm not sure actually, but maybe it's, it's slightly longer or something like that. But they have put more battery and they've increased the weight of it slightly but I mean the weight is still good it's it doesn't feel like cheap but it's it's all right you know it's okay it's not uh super solid or anything like that but it, it's good so th that's the hardware aspect of the RG35XX out of the way Mio Mini Plus now uh I have a lot of problems with this, even though like, okay, let's start with the things that I like. So I really do like that. It feels way more solid than, than this guy. It feels like a, like you could do some damage with, <laughs> you could do some damage with some, to someone's face with this. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, but it's, uh, it's, it's quite a lot. The plastic they used is a lot more solid, solid, uh, I, I don't know, it's like, it feels denser, it feels slicker, it feels, uh, you know, really good in the hand, like, in terms of texture and feel. But for me, the shape is is wrong. Uh, the, the shape doesn't really, it kind of floats in my hand when I'm holding it, so I need to sort of cup my 
cut my hand a bit more whereas with the 35xx it's like it's it's going right into my hand and it's it's cool you know it feels good it's comfortable i don't have to stretch stuff out of this but this one like it's it's sort of floating in in the air it's like i have to play it like this and i'm not that comfortable you know i'm playing it like this rather than down here and it's not you know it's not uh it's not feeling ergonomic for me i'm afraid um and the, these are okay actually the, so the the buttons don't go as far out as the uh, xx you can see that right there and i think that's okay I, i'm okay with that i don't uh let me just turn down the volume so i don't blow my ears out uh I, i'm okay with that uh so that that aspect of the controls is good and i think that uh, this where it's raised, so the this uh, L1, uh, sorry R1 is uh, is lower down and the R2 is higher up. I really like that, and uh, I think there was a guy who 3D printed some of these uh, better buttons or something. They're called the better RG3 5XX buttons. Uh, there's a guy who 3D printed us for for this one. So uh, if you really want that, you can actually get it for these. But um, I like it that they out of the box that you get that on the Miu Mini. That's really cool. Uh, that's really cool how they can, you know, you can differentiate uh, between them. Um, what I don't like about the Mio Mini Plus though is the D-pad. I think that it's a bit too sunken down and uh, I, I, the the shape looks good. I mean, the, the shape is good, but I, I feel like it's not, yeah, not not too, I, I like it a bit more higher up, I think, like the like the Anvenic one is. Um, and, and also I like it a bit bigger. This one is kind of uh, a bit, a bit stubby as you can you can see it there you know it's, it's a bit you've got a fin fin versus uh stubbiness on there and uh f for me i mean it still still works well but i just feel like it's uh it could have been a little bit better uh but the the, the tactile nature of it is good uh and diagonals i've got had no problems you know playing fighting games and things like that I think it's 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 okay. I mean, it's not it's not going to be a deal breaker for me, but it's uh it's something that I just thought I would mention that I didn't instantly like as much as the RG three five XX. Something I really do like is this interchangeable battery, and they really uh, hit the ball out of the park with the uh, Scott goal or whatever sports analogy you want to use with with this battery door where you can switch out the battery that's that's a really 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 nice touch i wish they did that with this because it, this has a smaller battery and uh this has a larger battery plus a replaceable battery that's brilliant i think um this it, is uh, a really really cool feature and then of course this one doesn't have hdmi out so i'm not too bothered about that but it does have the wi-fi the wi-fi is not being used much on the Miu Mini at all at the moment. It's not um, it's not been unlocked because we don't have a full version of Onion UI, Onion OS for Miu Mini Plus yet. Uh, I suspect that's gonna come. There's a lot of uh, preview videos, I think, coming about this, uh, but that's fair enough. I mean, that's gonna come in time and that's um, something to look out for, I guess, for, for Miu Mini Plus owners. Okay, uh, sorry, one thing I didn't talk about was uh, I do like the menu button more on the Mio Mini Plus because it's recessed, uh, whereas this one kind of comes out, uh, I, I don't, you know, obviously uh, a recessed menu button so you don't accidentally press it is, is good. Um, and uh, I, I don't really, it's not really a big factor anyway, these, these start and select buttons, but I, I do like it, that the fact that it's recessed on the Mio Mini Plus. The buttons, uh, the actual uh, ABXY, I mean, they could be the same to me. The Mio ones are slightly better, I think, because they're slightly bigger, um, and they they go with that stubby D pad. Uh, so I'd say I would give that to the Mio Mini Plus. the The buttons are uh, slightly slightly bigger, slightly slightly better, but the three five XX not not bad at all, not bad at all. Right. Uh, so what else do we have to talk about? The volume keys are basically the same. The power is basically the same. So let's move on to uh, the software aspects. So out of the box, obviously Mew's got a way better UI. Um, this is uh, the Anbenic. If you've used the stock firmware, it's it's bloody shocking. It's it's bad. There's some decent features on there, I guess. You have got you know save states and you've got um, some box art stuff, but the uh, you know the UI choices is just a bit. Um, it's just it just works basically. It just went for the basic to to make sure that it was uh, operational. Mew, they really I think that they've their their budget is probably gone on 
software programming or whatever because like the the amount of work that's gone into this is really nice uh they have a lot more options menus <laughs> ex extra stuff um you know they i think when the rg35xx first came out you couldn't even change discs for, for ps1 so you couldn't play you know you couldn't move on to disc 2 for final fantasy or something like that which that's a bit a bit shocking um but yeah with the miu mini uh, the software is, is always going to be a, a good strong point but the thing is right you have a lot of developers working with the rg35xx now and we've got like batasera light and you're able to play psp games uh on like a test build now which is pretty cool so it, it feels like um on the Miu, you have like a really strong, one strong developer, like really, really strong uh, team behind Onion OS. But with the um, RG35XX, you kind of have like loads of little developers and there's a lot of, there's a lot of more action. Uh, there's a lot more people uh, trying stuff out and, uh, you know, trying to get the GPU working and trying to unlock that power, which is within the RG35XX. Uh, so I really like that. Um, so maybe software is actually a bit closer than than we think because uh, in terms of uh, comparing these two, because I do like the fact that there's a lot of um, a lot of cool stuff coming out for the RG35XX, and um, maybe check out my other firmware video about um, quick comparison about the uh, firmwares on, on this guy. Uh, but on on the Miu, of course, we're gonna get uh, Onion OS, like a full version of it. And um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be great, obviously. So, um, uh, you know, it's it's uh, I think pretty equal on the software front. Now, um, sound wise, we've both we've got that same problem, you know, where you can possibly cover up that speaker grill on, on these two consoles. Uh, I originally mentioned that on the Miu Mini Plus, but actually it's not much of a problem because I'm, you know, usually holding it like that and I'm not like cupping my hand right in and, and blocking the speaker and it's not really been a problem here as well. Even though my hand, uh, you know, gets close, it doesn't like I don't I don't cup the speaker as well. Uh, I don't I don't uh, cover that that grill. So the sound's been good and uh, not not had a problem with it. Um, yeah, you can see here as well the screens. They're probably using the same screen, you know, same same bloody factory is making these. <laughs> so um, they've probably got the same screen out there. Uh, you know, it looks they both look as good as each other. To be honest, I've got no no issues with the with the screen itself. Um, and then let's finally talk about some build quality issues. So this guy, if you buy this, you need to watch out for the D-pad. So there's a few problems here and there with people saying, oh, the D-pad. Uh, you know, you, you, if you're switching diagonals, it's, it's not going to work properly. Or sometimes the diagonals are too sensitive. It's kind of fixable. You need to open it up and put a bit of electrical tape, like a square of electrical tape there. Uh, there's some uh, guides on Reddit probably to uh, how to do this. This guy, right, I've seen reports that the screen is just coming off. So that's uh, <laughs> that's quite crazy where the screen just like, it just comes out of the like it it gets too hot or something, and the this this glass it you can just see it popping out. So that's uh that's Chinese handhelds for you. You know you've got some uh, possible build quality issues with these guys. Um, what else to talk about then? Uh, I think not much. Like this is gonna be good for up to PS1. I mean we're still we're seeing some PSP coming out now and some uh you know interesting stuff with the GPU on, on the RG35XX coming soon but uh it's uh it's it's not I think it's not gonna be a while because uh this guy has some crazy boot times on those test builds of that so maybe not the uh you know maybe not like the uh coming soon for that um uh, but then the Miu uh, Onion OS I expect that to be out Miu Mini Plus uh, Onion OS build I expect that to be out pretty soon uh because they said it would be out for when the Miu Mini Plus is actually released and people are already getting them so I guess it's uh, April. Uh oh yeah one more thing to talk about stock issues. So the RG35XX is easy to get and is slightly cheaper than the Miu Mini Plus. I think this is going to be a factor. Uh, because the Mio Mini Plus is hard to get and it sells out within one minute uh, on AliExpress on the official store. So that's a big, big problem. Um, for me, like if you need to buy a handheld now for a gift or something, 
yeah, you just go with the RG uh, 35XX, man, because it's just too, um, you know, it's readily available. You need you don't need to wait for uh, some Telegram bot or whatever to tell you it's there. It's just it's just ready, so don't don't worry about that. Um, so um, yeah, I, I mean, this video's been going on long long a bit, but I, I want to give you, uh, you know, as someone who's got both of these, um, uh, well. I've got a lot more than <laughs> than these i can give you kind of a an opinion of, of uh you know which one you should get if you're just going to buy one and uh for me as i said at the beginning of the video it's going to be this one to be honest the rg35xx because it's you know it's easier to get it's slightly cheaper um some of the problems with it have been fixed or you can fix yourself you know not not to uh in a um, not too difficult way. I guess the argument for the Miu Mini is that if you wanted to get something and it's really easy for someone to use, like it's way as easier to this uh, for the RG three five XX in terms of the stock experience. If you just wanted to get something, to get some, uh, get this into someone's hands and say, okay, boom, you're playing uh, PS one games and it's uh, you don't have to worry about anything or tinkering or anything like that. This is a better out uh, the Miu Mini Plus is better out of box experience. And on that note, um, I'll be coming out with more videos obviously on on these products uh they're really really fun to to review so i'll um talk about them more in the future and uh hopefully i'll be playing some games as well so see you guys next time and i'll join you for the next video later bye bye now